What if cucumbers and ginger beer had a baby? <laughs> Be the, <laughs> what would the children look like? It would look like a Munich mule. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Show. I'm screaming again. I'm sorry. Uh, today we're going to make... you're excited. I you're know. always excited. I know. It's a, you're I'm, excited I'm very guy. excitable. Yep, you are. Um, today we're making the Munich mule. This recipe is going to be one and a half ounces. It's whole, totally different than yesterday's recipe, which was insanity. One and a half ounces of vodka. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely yesterday. Right? One and a half ounces of vodka. And the yep. reason I just did this as I'm explaining it, because I want that to sit and fester. But what we're doing is cucumbers, diced fester, cucumber. Do you mean like marinade? Sure. <laughs> That's probably a more... It sounds better. No. Your way. Likeable term. Yeah, likeable. Likeable. <laughs> Fester. Vodka with pineapple. Oh, pineapples. Uh, cucumbers. Fresh cucumbers from my garden, nonetheless. Nice. Yeah. You got a lot of tomatoes out there, by the way. Yeah. Do you have some? Uh, sure. Do you not eat tomatoes? They all go into my salsas. Uh, I don't actually eat. No, I don't, we don't. No, me and my son are the only ones who eat tomatoes, and we don't eat that many tomatoes. They look good. So they turn into salsa. Just so you know. Yeah. The salsa's good. The salsa. You should try some salsa. Um, it's a little hot this time. I, I love it. I made some healthy. I'm into it. Can we have this out? I'm going to need to eat something after all. Okay, yeah. Uh, and as a side note, the reason Doug's a little giddy is he we've been doing some taste testing Yeah. as we go. Yeah. Like everything. Yeah. Some Skittle vodka. Yeah. There's no we. It's him. Him. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really do anything. I'm the smart one. So, what we're going to do, we sure. add your 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 cucumbers. For some reason, I'm having a hard time with that. Yeah, cucumbers? making fun of Doug. They always... <laughs> I, mean, I would. Right. Cucumbers and vodka... We're going to add some ice. I'm going to stir it a little bit. I, I try to make it easy for people. Hey, Doug, is it cold in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you see my nipples? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was worried about. Really? No. <laughs> I saw something sticking out near the vodka bottle. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to be self-conscious the entire time. Fuck. Stop it. Right. <laughs> add ice. No, my nipples are just perpetually hard. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? They're not sticking out, dog. It's okay. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> they are kind of perpetually hard, though. <laughs> when you end the show, you can say how you make your salsa because somebody wants to know. Oh! Unless you want to do it right now. When I end the show, I can tell you how I make the salsa. you got to remind me, though. Because <clears throat> I am stupid. I'm... Okay. Wait, ginger beer is not dark. I always thought ginger beer was dark. No. Mm -mm. This looks. This is the color of our cocktail that we're making. Yeah. So for the chat room, these are the that's the color you're looking at. Um, want to know why I'm hesitant? No. First off, I had no idea the cucumber was going to close to the top. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. Um, I guess it's okay. Well, then, yeah. It'll help filter it. So my fear is I'm not going to get any cucumber out of this. That is my fear because the cucumber isn't a juicy thing, and you're, it's not muddled. You're going yeah, to be get a lot of the ginger beer. But I want to get... A little bit of cucumber. It should have muddled some. It said dice cucumber. Just put it in the glass and stir. When you sip, take a cucumber and bite it. There we go. What? Yeah, there no, you go. That's not, no. Yeah, take it in your mouth and bite it. Kind of like <laughs> a piece of ice, just with cucumber. How'd that happen, right? The spoon. No, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. Do you got a dream? You got totally. Dream. You totally get cucumber. And you get it. I get it. The okay. reason I the, Did and you the eat reason, one? No, I didn't eat one. I didn't but eat one. The the reason that I think that I'm getting it is like the bouquet of this it's is very, all yeah, cucumber. I, I tried to ignore that just for the first sip. No. I just I, I I was gonna say to our fans over here, there's a lot of cucumber on the nose. It's all like cucumber and ginger. Those are your aromas that you're getting. A lot of it. It's good. It's very light, very crisp and refreshing. Very. Um, the cucumbers, they, you know there are, it's kind of near the finish. You get some cucumber and mm -hmm. some some warm yet subtle ginger. Not mm. a huge amount of ginger. Yeah. Like a dark and stormy is very, I very was, ginger. I was really worried that, that this was going to completely Just destroy 
But yeah, it doesn't overwhelm do it. it. Doesn't at all. No, it's got a neat presentation because it's not every day you have diced cucumbers floating on the top of your drink. Yep. I think this is a really serviceable drink. I think the the big key feature, the thing that you really have to worry about, is that you use a vodka you enjoy. And when I say that, I don't mean like aristocrat or anything in that direction. Like this is a well a a, a good vodka, Russian standard. Now the reason I chose this, being the Munich Mule. Yeah. Well. Is I kind of wanted it to have like. I, I just felt like it had to have some sort of like Russian look to it. Okay. And I like this vodka because of the fact that they actually keep that. Yeah. Which I'm guessing says Russian standard, but I don't speak Russian. Okay. Neither um, do I. But this says down here for dummies. Mm -hmm. Russian standard vodka. <laughs> <laughs> um, now. Yeah, good go. Good go. Why right, would dude, it be, tell, some more. Why would it be called the Munich Mule? Because uh, Munich, to me, Unless I'm wrong, people in the chat room would be a large city in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. München, the like major Oktoberfest city capital. Yeah. Is that Oktoberfest. In That's Easter, east or west Germany? South. Close though. Southeast. Southeast. Yeah, but okay. still, it wouldn't when you look at east west Germany south. I don't think it. I don't know, well, was it? It's I not mean, near Berlin. When, when Germany was split. Was it, no, I think it on was. the east or west side? It, okay. I would say west because it's actually built and has a populace that aren't poor. Okay. Uh, but my history of Europe has... I called something Czechoslovakia the other day, and apparently that hasn't been the case in many years. The only thing I didn't do is call it USSR. So, oh, that's good. Yeah, I, at least I got something going on. Yeah. But, again, use a good vodka because the vodka, the ginger, the cucumber... Tito's. Play in Tito's. I yeah, think just pimp Tito's. Yeah, you, good. you could do Tito's. I think if you want, if you want some sort of subtleties, Tito's is kind of more crisp and clear. You might get a little more ginger, cucumber without the distraction of any flavors of the vodka. That's really good. That's a great summer drink. Um, if you like potato vodka, which I don't think you do, you kind of thought it was dirty. You had the um, what was the potato vodka you had? I don't know. Vesica. I was going to have you taste this, but we don't want you to be too messed up. <laughs> so there you go. The Munich Mule question of the day. Did anybody come up with a question? Did you even throw <laughs> it out until right now? No, but they, they were, they're they they're smarter than I am. They're used to thinking ahead. Oh, no, good. there's no questions of the day. Question of the day. None. What's the weirdest vegetable you've ever used in a cocktail? Cucumber. Here, I got another one. This I want to see. First person that could create a really damn fine avocado cocktail. <laughs> and I don't mean like... Using a ripe avocado. Well, yeah. Like, like a good, really ripe avocado. Not black. No. I don't want no, the smoky. I, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see little chunks of avocado. Uh, the, the floaties? Yeah, well, you, you know, gonna, if, yeah, if, if you use an avocado that's... Kind of firm, you'll you know it'll stay in, in chunks. Yeah. yeah, but Challenge like accepted. something that, <clears throat> like a really ripe one. Yeah, it just instantly disintegrates. Yeah, you into anything to, that, that you put it in. Has to be serviceable. It has a good <laughs> look to it. It's gonna look awful. I don't. It's, it's gonna be green. <laughs> it's gonna be. But it will look awful. Yeah, but it it's, may taste it's, awful. it's gonna be again. It's gonna look awful. Um, prefer it not to be blended. Because that's way too easy to get away with. If you could do an avocado, a blended avocado. Yeah, it'll look like easy. a smoothie. Yeah, and I, I like avocado smoothies, so I would be able to, yeah. I mean, like, I want a cocktail. Classy, tasting, flavorful cocktail. I don't care what's in it, as long as I own it. Don't, don't you, use your it, crazy European you, stuff. You should just challenge something. people to do a guacamole I can make cocktail. A I know. Oh, well, that'd be cool. <laughs> it'd be gross. Tequila, guacamole, a little lime. What guacamole I have? You can make a, it, it would be a shot. No, that's because you're scared of it. No, <laughs> not fair. So there you go, Munich Mule question, question of the day: What's your weirdest vegetable that you use that you have used in a cocktail? And challenge, make me an avocado recipe, and I have to like it. Think, no if, bitters. If can we go ahead and get a it, picture it taken done. of this so I can drink it? Yep. Yes. All right, <laughs> we're out. Derek Schomer, Doug Peterson, which I think we keep forgetting to introduce you. Oh. We're teaching you how to drink.